So for um, number 25, we they want us to tell whether this sequence over here, it converges or diverges. And so now we can see that um, a sequence converges if um, the value of the sequence tends to a specific limit as n approaches infinity. So what we have to do here is we have to take the limit as n approaches infinity of 3 plus 5n squared over n plus n squared and see if that um, if that gives us a, a number, right? Because if it gives a number, then the limit exists and so it converges. Um, and so over here, what we want to do is we want to divide by the highest power. So we're going to multiply this by 1 over n squared divided by 1 over n squared. And the reason that we want to divide it by the highest power is because we want to have a bunch of rational expressions. Because when we have a rational expressions like 1 over n or 1 over n squared or whatever, then when we take the limit, we know that these are going to go to zero, right? Because it's like 1 divided by a very large number. So we want to have as many rational expressions as we, as we can. Um, and so this is going to be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of... Um, that's going to be 3 over n squared plus 5 divided by uh, 1 over n and then plus 1. And so now that we do this, it's going to be way easier because then this is uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of 3 over n squared and then plus 1 divided by the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n and then plus 1. And so we can see here that 3 divided by a very large number, right, that's just going to go to 0, um, plus 1, over 1 divided by a very large number, so that's just going to go to 0, plus 1. And so this is equal to, uh, let's see, oops, that should have been plus 5, not plus 1, plus 5 here. So that is going to be equal to 0 plus 5 over 0 plus 1, which is just it's just equal to 5. And so we can say that the limb of as n approaches infinity of a n is equal to 5. Therefore, therefore, a n converges. And yeah, and that is it for number 25.